Number 10 from the 2007 Higher Maths paper 2, related graphs here, function and its derivative. This might have been a question for fewer marks where the normal one would be you get some curve, forgetting this part, and you're asked to draw the graph of its derivative. So you would say, well, it's stationary here, so it's gradient 0. That's why that's down below that exactly. It's stationary here again, so its gradient is 0, its derivative is 0, so there's its gradient there, again 0. Positive, positive values, negative, negative values, positive again, positive values. So, what does it say? Given that f dashed x is of this form, which is what it looks like, it looks like a quadratic, write down, just write down the values of a and b, and that's what it would be. If it cuts at 2 and it cuts at 4, it must have had factors x minus 2 and x minus 4. So I can state that straight away. a is 2 and b is 4. Now, part b, find the value of k to finish off the three marks. Well, that equation, I'll just put this down again, now looks like this. f of x is k times, I now know it's x minus 2 and x minus 4. That's the form of it. Now, to find k, that means I'll need values for x and for the answer, f dash, which is plotted here as 6. So, since it goes through that point, 0, 6, that means when x is 0, the answer will be 6. So when x is 0, so that's k times 0 minus 2, 0 minus 4, the answer is 6. So I'll just put it on that side. And then that's quite easy. Negative 2 times negative 4 is 8, so 8k is 6. I'll write it the other way around. 8k is 6. Take the 8 across and divide 6 over 8. k is 3 quarters. And part B then, find the equation of the cubic function, the function fx, whose derivative is f dashed x, whose derivative is this, whose derivative is, k was 3 quarters, x minus 2, x minus 4. Now I'll need to multiply that all out because to get f of x I'll have to integrate this, I'll have to undifferentiate it. So I'll leave the 3 quarters just now until I multiply this out. So I've got x squared for the first times the first, plus 8 for the last times the last, minus 2x, minus 4x, minus 6x. But I'll need separate terms. So that's 3 quarters of x squared. 4 and 6, that cancels down to 2 and 3, so that's minus 9 upon 2x. 4 and 2, 8 goes 2, 3 twos are 6. That's f dashed of x. So to get f of x, I'll just put a note here, f of x, I'm going to integrate f dashed x. So integrating this will be add 1 to the power, 3. Divide by the 3, knocks out that 3, makes that a quarter. Add 1 to the power, 2. Divide by the power, another 2 underneath, so that'll be 9 over 4 now. Back up to linear term, but unfortunately, plus some constant. Which would have disappeared under the differentiation. But, I know a point in this curve. It goes through the point 0, 6. So same as with this one. If it goes through 0, 6, that means the answer is 6 when x is 0. Well, they're all 0, so c will be 6. But I'll just put it in. That'll be 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus c. So that means c is 6. So finally, I'll just have to take a note over here. f dash dx is a quarter of x cubed minus 9 upon 4x squared, plus 6x, plus 6. That was all right. Oh, there we go.